choose. Oh, this is our decision I with Chloe. Make the right decision. I'll always be with you. Forever. Yeah. Apparently not. <laughs> we grew apart. Not the goofy folks. <laughs> Oh, dude, she's gone. Max has too much trauma for one lifetime. The photos of everybody. Do we keep Welcome losing our best friends? Is this the dead wall? <laughs> Jesus. Shit. Am I missing one? And 30. This feels like a max room. There it is. Let me get all the way over here. Damn, Chloe. I thought I lost you. Uh, I was missing the Chloe photo. Amaze balls. I literally they just, just got chills. Oh, that's in the diner. You have powers. And you like guess the stuff in their you pockets. Time, max. That's insane. They're in Arizona no, there. What insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems and more heartbreak. Well, I hope they get into that and how that happened. She went go she went back to brown hair with just blue tips. Like in if before I the storm. Max could see the places I've seen. I guess that's not quite like what she had in before the storm. Oh, I can look oh, at the photos. Man. Uh the Safi. If <laughs> I <laughs> could undo your death, Safi. I do it without a second thought. No, don't. We we learned our lesson of the first game. We can't just keep doing that. Milagros Midwest, a Mexican joint in Iowa run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. We had a huge blow up not Max long Chloe, after we took this. Arizona. I'm glad to only remember the photo and not the fight. She got a blackout over the tattoo that she had. Was that supposed to be the one with Rachel? The bassist from the agnostic femmes named Faith. Wait, that goes hard. Out of Oakland. She was enthusiastic. Wait, that goes so hard. I love that. Her name was Chloe. Aww. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't. Oh. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic. I would 100% retire there. <laughs> Classic photographer retiring in Mexico. More common than you think, apparently. Is all of them? I think it's all of them. Max has so much hurt in her. We probably haven't left bed in a while, I imagine. Amanda? She tried calling us so much, dude. She cares about us. Left a voicemail? Just a text? I'm coming over. Ah. Uh, I have to force human interaction on Max. Max, I just heard about Safi. You okay, hun? No need to respond. I just want to check in. Okay, a lot of them worried. And the response would help, but I understand. That's it, Max. I'm coming over. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit of a forced entry, but. Um, we have messages from Moses. Yeah, Max, where are you? I'm doing my best not to lose my shit and it's not working. Update. Went to my lab to think, but still freaking out. Please get back to me when you can. I assume you're also processing what... I assume you're also processing what happened, and I get that, but I'm feeling all alone here. Are you okay, Max? Any sign at all would be greatly appreciated right about now. 
All right, I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Emphasis on try. Hope you're able to do the same. People cope in different ways, man. Like Moses probably needs someone, but Max is definitely the shut off type. Moses, I'm so sorry. I'm just texting you back. I've been in a fog state ever since. And the thought of even looking at my phone made me more depressed. I hear you, Max. It's hard enough to deal with this and harder still thinking I was dealing with it alone. I know, I'm sorry. You're not alone. Not in this, not in anything. Thanks, Max. I should try to get a little rest before tomorrow. And if you get the energy to come to campus, come find me. We should talk. Deal, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's morning somehow. Sleep was pretty much non-existent. Imagine you didn't get much sleep either. I'm scheduled to meet with Yasmin today. I'm not sure what to do. Wish me luck, I guess. Fuck. She went through all of that alone. Oh, no. Maxine, Maxine, where are you? I haven't heard from Safia, and I'm starting to worry. Do you tell her I'm not mad about her splurging at the snapping turtle? I know how impulsive she can be. She's not answering her phone, and I don't know what to do. Maxine, please, if you hear her from her, call me immediately, or have, call me, have her call me. My god, Maxine, I am lost. I am so lost. The detectives in the Lakeport Police Department just left. I told them to speak to you. Inshallah, you have more information for them than I can provide. I'm, I'm pretty sure Inshallah's like, God willing. Uh, she was my only child. I did everything to protect her and yet still this. This Okay, you can't trauma dump in my DMs so. though. That's uh, we gotta have to find healthy outlets. I'll be in my office today. Maybe work will take my mind off of it. Please come by if you're able. Work did not take my mind off of it. I saw her everywhere I looked. I came home after 45 minutes and slept for 11 hours. Why aren't you answering your phone? Are you angry with me? I would understand, but silence is most painful of all. Grieve however you must, but please don't shut me out. Not now, not like this. I'll be in my office again today. I don't know what else to do. I do not know what else to do. Yeah, I mean, we should probably talk to her, but definitely not force onto us. Oof, that text message is going to be empty. The main feed again. Should we start from the bottom and go to most recent? I think that makes the most sense, right? Coming in hot from the police scanner. Shots fired on Caledon campus. One person was struck. The person struck was grad student Safi Lewin Fayad. Oh, she said how to say her middle name. I <laughs> butchered that probably. And she did not survive. OMG, true crime happens right in your backyard. Hey, let's remember that this is a real person Loretta probably knows. Can't believe this is happening here. Loretta, please call me. Yeah, that's gonna be tough for everybody, I imagine. I wish I'd been there. Make yourself you read it. When I started to open mic night, I was terrified no one would come. Sophie was the first person to sign up. She read the gorgeous poem honoring a dead friend. She never signed up again. She, she was like a match. Burned brightly and left as fast as she came. Rest in peace, Sophie. Wish she had you a little longer. Rest in peace, Sophie. I'm so sorry, Amanda. If you need anything, please give us a call. Thank you for this. Was Vin bothered by it? Are they friends? I've heard the unfortunate news about the death of our colleague, Safia. I was sadly reminded of a line from my father's book, Death comes from us all on a whim, with no regard for our imagining. I'm sorry to all who loved her and could not imagine this. No, you're not alone. Thank you so much for your kind words, Professor Colmanero. Of course, and if you need anything, I'm here. Jesus Christ, you're hamming this up. Have some respect, a young woman died. And you're blabbing about you and your daddy. <laughs> It's amazing how cruel people can be when they're able to hide their face. Not him getting dragged. Joey. But it's like your book said, our souls fly on. My heart goes out to you and Lucas. I hate imagining what Yasmin went through writing this post. Some already know the student we lost yesterday was my daughter, Safia. I will continue to serve as president, but I will be grieving. Please respect my privacy during this difficult time. Yeah, man, how do you handle this? It's not like your job just stops, you know? Like... That's gotta be tough to balance. You are incredibly selfless for continuing your work. Safi would be proud. Please contact the board if you find you're having difficulties. We're here to help. I'm so sorry. We already missed her. Lucas gives me bad vibes, dude. But I feel like in typical Life is Strange fashion, maybe he's supposed to. <laughs> 24 hours later and still no word about the death of a grad student on campus. A grad student who was the daughter of the Kaladin's president? Really? This is diamond. Shine bright like a... That's a good username. I know this ain't the same Caledon that was voted safest campus in the Northeast. If you need me to come get you, let me know, D. Can't believe she's really gone. We literally saw her last night at the turtle. Well, if the school isn't going to act, I will. Let me do a little digging and see what turns up. 
Sounds like Loretta might be on on the path of trying to find out what happened. Safia was strong, talented woman with endless potential. She's a loss to this world and I will never forget. My heart goes out to her family. I hope we get some answers soon. If we do it, it won't be from the cops. They're dragging their feet. Real. Shout out Robin. Money. I can't believe this happened on campus. What was she doing out there by herself anyway? Walking? She was too young. All I do is Vin. Time timeless obits.com slash Safia. Can I go to this website? Oh, it is. It is a real domain. Hold on. Let me bring this up. Oh, look at this, dude. It's like a real website. Timeless orbits. Your loved ones listed. Home. It's a Tumblr website. <laughs> Way back in Life is Strange, though. If you went to the like Kate's link that was like posted, it like took you to a real domain for like the first year of the game or something. It didn't have her video, obviously, because that'd be fucked up. I'm so sorry, dude. Sending my love. She was an amazing person. Are you okay? I guess they were friends. But the way Sofia talked about the club made me think that she wasn't friends. Oh, well, that's the uh, that's all the new posts on Crosstalk. Shit. Oh. My place is a mess. Oh, Amanda's coming over. Right. Shit, shit, shit. I gotta clean. I'm a mess. I'm in pajama. Dude, I think it's definitely like. <laughs> Like you're allowed to be a mess in this situation. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Downstairs? I got hide it. I got hurry up. Too. Wait, I want to look at everything Doesn't though. Get more bad shit than twist the knife counterclockwise. And for Giallo, that's really saying something. A new classic for the master Italian horror. Star chart. Moses left us here weeks ago. He and Sophie were having some debate about astronomy. Versus astrology. Hmm, gotcha. I wish I could remember what Sophie said, but I. I've already forgotten. Oh no. Named after the Latin word for lion, represents strength, fearlessness, and loyalty. Named after the Latin word for maiden, represents kindness, industriousness, and perfectionism. Named after the Latin word for scales, represents justice, equilibrium, and harmony. Named after the Latin word for scorpion, represents clairvoyance, passion, and mystery. I'm sure to no one's surprise, I am an Aries. Maybe we'll get some Aries information at some point. My photo an wall. album probably makes more sense, but don't hate waking up to these every. I hope I'm not like timed. It feels like Life is Strange wouldn't time you for this. After the last couple of days, I had to reread Yasmin's letter to remind myself what I'm even doing here. Dear Miss Caulfield, it is with the utmost pleasure on behalf of myself and my esteemed colleagues here at Caledon University that I inform you of your selection as the Hellerton Visiting Artist for the coming school year. We have been following your work and your trajectory for quite some time and are honored to have you share your wisdom and light with our students. During the time at your campus, we will be staying at Hellerton House a rustic and cozy home, a short walk to campus, which has all modern amenities you require. I imagine you have many questions, and if so, feel free to reach out day or night at my personal cell or via email. I look forward to working with you and seeing the works you produce under the auspices of our humble university. Cordially, Dr. Yasmin Fayad. Can I change my outfit? We're going cat outfit today. When it's day two. Syndrome rears its head. I like to remind it that I won a fucking international photography award. Yeah, we went to San Francisco for the, Oh wait, no, international. That's a new award. The high point of the series. Maybe any series. You can debate me, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> I honestly hope they'd help me understand Sophie better. But now, what's the point? Got some books. We have a computer as well. Okay, I want to change my clothes. If I'm going to see Amanda, I should put on something vaguely human-like. Yeah, I want the cat outfit. Oh, these are new outfits. Oh, we have new outfits. Yeah, we got blue. Flowers. Teddy bears. The cactus. Very hippie. That's a throwback, that dough. Oh, dude, I like all the Halloween stuff so much. <laughs> ah, we can dye our hair purple. Do we get different hair? Like, 
that different of a hair color than any of them else. No, they're all natural. We get purple hair in this one. What do the outdoors look like? Oh, it's still the same. Okay, we'll take the ugly leopard print outdoor if it means we get this indoor one. This is so cute. I like this. Now to take care of downstairs. Hey, I gotta look at my computer. This computer's come back more times than Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Can't begin to imagine how hard Haven't they made that joke before? Right. I feel like they've made the Jason Voorhees joke before. Professional tone all the way through. Fatal error? My game crashed? What the hell? My game just crashed. Dear Calvin community, as your university president, I write to inform you that in the light of recent passing of one of our beloved Caledon students, classes and planned special events will be canceled until further notice. This is a difficult decision, and I know many of you are looking forward to the end of term activities for which our campus is famous, and I hope you understand my my reasons for doing so. Losing one of our own, whom another a number of you knew personally, is not easy. And I want to assure you that grief counselors will be available to you at no cost, should you feel the need. Thank you for understanding during this trying time. Cordially, Dr. Yasmin Fayad. Dude, that's gotta be so hard to write, yeah. Yasmin has been nothing but supportive throughout my time here. And I owe it to her to make time, should she need it. I hope you can forgive me for the more formal tone in my email earlier to the faculty, staff, and students. There have been some of the hardest days of my life, and if I'm being completely honest, I feel like I'm adrift. It's a wonder I'm still holding it together uh, at all. I know you and a few others were very close to Safia, and I pray you'll understand if I reach out to you or lean on you for some support in coming days. Cordially, Dr. Yasmin Fayad. This site was mostly bullshit platitudes that were hard to take seriously. Grievingracious.org slash close friends. Losing a close friend. Losing a loved one is among the most heartbreaking things we can experience, but it's important to know that the loss of a close friend can often be just as overwhelming. A true friend can feel like a family, and their absence and the grief that comes with it deserves the fullness of care and consideration thought about baking these, but that would have required a trip to the store, and that would have required me to leave the house. Yeah, that's not really happening right now, I imagine. Esme's classic no-bake brownies. Let's get this out of the way right off the bat. When you're feeling low, eating something healthy is always going to feel better than engaging in the sweeter impulses. Absolutely not. But sometimes that's exactly what you need, and this recipe is precisely what you're looking for. I didn't like that. All right, we gotta clean downstairs. The kitchen. Oh, this is this is a really nice place, dude. How do I live here? Do I share this? Nice poor cop investigating Sophie's death. Cynthia Sophie's Fitzpatrick. Murder. She kept Moses and I for questioning for hours and hours. Yeah, I mean it doesn't make sense. You saw her three seconds before she got murdered, and no one was around. I saw a very suspicious owl. Does that help, officer? <laughs> hey, Cab. I swear I'll clean <laughs> that one pan eventually. You all have that one pan. Amanda Willand. If only a strong cup of coffee, or five, could speed me through what I'm feeling right now. It's a nice coffee machine. Thank you, hot sauce. You're the only pick me up I've had the last day and change. We're kind of living nice here, dude. We got a kitchen with an island. Not eating well, but. Mm, grief dinner. I kind of like the sink though, placement, so too. It feels like more of a substantial meal. Like on the angle? Wait, who designed this kitchen? I have some choice words, and they're all good. I really like this kitchen. I'm Clay Sophie. Oh. To do list Sunday lunch with Moses at the turtle, Monday shoot with Safi in Nebula building, Wednesday grocery shopping. We're supposed to go grocery shopping together. Oh, I don't do well with floss, man. That's gotta hurt so much. There's a door here. No sign of Amanda yet. I've still got time. God to bless. Let me clean this place up. Pupil and Iris. This baby got me an international photography award. Well, this is what one. And a spread in National Geographic. It's a blue butterfly. Safi. Safi got me the frame. 
Is that the the like bird thing that Chloe draws? I think she drew it on the floor in the bathroom of before the storm, if I remember. Or no, she drew it on the wall. She drew, she drew a middle finger on the floor. Uh, she drew it on the wall, like with the mirrors, I think. One side Chloe, one side Max. One of the past Hellerton artists made this. Woodwork seems so unforgiving. Yeah, I you can imagine. have to live with your mistakes. Leave it to my very normal brain to respond to my most recent loss by fixating on the last one. One of the last things I got Drunk from box? Chloe. It wasn't an invitation. See St. Louis by night. Even years later, this still sucks oh, no. to read. You always did know how to make every word count, didn't you? Hey Max, I started writing the same St. Louis, hence the big fucking arch on the postcard. But I'm sending it from Tennessee because it took that long to figure out what I wanted to say. When we were teens, I thought being able to read my time was the coolest shit in the world. And I guess it was for a while. The problem is, the more often you go back in time, the less often you look forward. I wanted to look forward, to move forward, with you, Max, into a future we couldn't predict, and all the messiness that brings. Eventually, I knew as much as it hurt that you would never be able to do that. Not with me, at least. I love you, Max. That will always be true. I hope you find someone you no longer feel the need to rewind for, and you can look forward, unafraid. Dude, that's so tough, because that doesn't give us enough details. Was it like... Every time something went wrong between Max and Chloe, instead of just like learning from it and growing from it, Max would just rewind? Or is it just like the potential that Max could rewind anything? Like that would hold over Chloe's head. I think both are kind of realistic reasons on why Chloe could separate herself from Max, but man, does that suck. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that a lot. Almost everyone I ever knew. Gone. Just like that. Yeah, there's the the All wipeout. Of me. Climate strange in a meteorological turn of events that's baffled climate scientists from both the uh, NOAA and and NASA. <laughs> Otherwise, I struggle in the second one. It's a possibly rare West Coast tornado wipe town of Arcadia Bay, Oregon, completely off the map. As our planet worms. These are some scientists warned that the so-called freak weather events like this will become all too common. I don't know, man. I still think I made the right choice. I I definitely made the selfish choice. And I think the more realistic choice is that you sacrifice Chloe, but I don't know. I would have done anything for Chloe as Max and back when I played that first game. I wonder if Chloe's like craving unexpected experiences. That's why she uh, is friends and reaching out to Victoria now. I don't know what day it is. I only know it's night because you're sleeping in the bed next to me. Motel blackout shades are no fucking joke. I don't know where we are. I don't even know if we went north or south. I grabbed a new journal from a souvenir shop, but when I tried to look at the calendar, it was like all the dates ran together. You told me to save your family, and now they're dead. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. If I wanted to just get in the driver's seat and point us to the ocean, I wonder if you would stop me. October 18th. Okay. Michigan in October. Really fucking cold. Someone once told me that you can get hyperthermia from swimming in Lake Superior, even in the summer. I don't know what that's actually true, but looking at the blue and deep it is, I believe it. Yeah, this shows so much evolutionary growth of Max because, like, her journal entries used to be so chaotic. There's, like, drawings, like, scrap, like, not scrapbook, but, like, there was, like, cutouts of, like, t uh, magazine clippings of words for like letters you said lake superior more like lake disappointing then you press your cold toes against my bare legs like a huge asshole this is girlfriend abuse i'm pretty sure <laughs> i wanted to go to la but you weren't interested you said it's because you don't want to be a bougie hollywood lesbian couple but i know you were thinking about rachel i wish she was alive to be here with us i wish i could have known her dude max and chloe is best friends but chloe dating rachel would have been the best timeline Oh, look at that. It's so cute. Chloe. Gel pens, man. This is 10th grade. 
Max, we could just talk with our mouths. Chloe, fuck no, this is dope. <laughs> Max, we came all the way to write back and forth to each other like we're passing notes in school. Chloe, okay, if this is so boring, why don't you go talk to that guy at the counter who keeps checking you out? Oh my god, they're doing it at a bar? That's funny. The mouth, no. It'll be funny. He definitely thinks he's getting a two for one deal. Oh my god, we'd rock his world. <laughs> I hate this beard. I hate his beard. We make him shave it first. Then obviously we kill him in the morning. What? Why? Because you're mine, bitch. Aw, that was really cute. I like the little drawing, too. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not ready to turn that page. She left me. Oh my god, that was the day they broke up. May 15th, the book is dusty. I found it after two days of looking. This is what I get for keeping my shit in storage. The letter from Caledon made me think about school, which made me think about you, which made me think about this book. <laughs> when I met Yasmin Fayad at my show in Boston, I had no idea she was the president of a prestigious liberal arts college. She was just some hot older lady who seemed to really want to be my friend. The artist in the residence lodgings was described as a cottage in the onboarding materials, but it's the size of my last three apartments combined. It'd be a great place to bring friends over, if I had any. September 20th. Picture it. I'm sitting in President Fayad's office on my first day. And then comes the girl in acid watch jeans and Dolce & Gabbana jacket. She says hi to me like we've been friends for years, reaches over the President's desk and snags her keys, and announces she's taking the car. And her, too. <laughs> we went to get ice cream in her mom's Porsche. Oh, right. She's Yasmin Fayad's daughter, Safi. A grad student at Caledon. She declared Rocky Road the best ice cream of all time, poor choice, and told me the jeans were an experiment that wasn't really working. That was almost a month ago, and I see her almost every day now. We're friends, I guess. It's been a while. Speak no evil. November 5th. Did I mention that part of Caledon artists and residents deal in seminars, like teaching lectures and students coming to them and learning, in the hall with slides? I tried to tell Yasmin that I don't have any teaching experience, but what was I supposed to say? Sorry, my only photography class was two months in senior year. I was infatuated with a hot teacher who turned out to be a psychotic pervert, murderer, and who kidnapped me to a secret bunker. I can't even get through a lesson plan without thinking about Jefferson. Oh, dude, look at that picture on the right. That's horrifying. That's probably what her memories look like, too. Despite that, people seem to like the seminars. There's a couple students in particular that I think have a lot of potential. Is this a teacher of emotion? December 4th, Safi's always encouraged me to do normal people stuff, and today it panned out. Because I've got a date, motherfuckers. I was a little scared. I've seen Amanda make a guy cry and give him a free, be a free beer after, but we clicked. Art, I think. Safi did ask about you earlier, but I sidestepped that combo with like a wild bear. I wasn't up to explaining how I leveled my hometown. I have a feeling she'll bring it up again. I don't know if we can ever tell people like that. Not again, not again, not again. Oh my god, dude. Max has got to be in such a dark place after this. Oh, we have a journal now. That's nice. I wonder if I we really keep it. I'm up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. I don't know, she seems like she'll be okay talking to us, but maybe it's a little too early. Depends how lesbian are we. Oh, oh Joyce! Clean us up too. Joyce was interesting. <laughs> I like Joyce. I also didn't like Joyce at times. I think overall, I liked her more times than I didn't. Her situation was rough to be in. Or a neb hater like Safi. But... I liked her, didn't like the decisions she made, I guess. Got our Polaroid, though. That's cool. I check my Polaroids. Yeah, we got three. Oh, there's no more. Or at least not in this scene. Oh, Joyce. Oh, we, we killed her mom. Storm. Chloe never yeah, really they're in the diner. Me the that means Frank and Warren are also dead. I think in Life is Strange too, you meet David at some point. Born and raised in the Pacific Northwest, but he talks about how his family's gone. Never made it to Canada till Chloe took me. Banff National Park did not disappoint. Hey, I've been there. I went snowboarding there. Also, it's very nice. I love Banff. <laughs> Better get these tidied up too, before Amanda gets here. We just keep them. You have like an inventory? 
Oh, we're just holding them. Gotcha. Been more than a few days since I used this. I'm not exactly in a picture-taking frame of mind. It's real. It may get panned as schlock. Brain bucket. The brain bucket saga is my break glass in case of depression go-to. Oh, I'm glad you have a comfort show. Amanda might be down. Chat, what are your comfort shows? Head in a bucket wreak havoc, Mine are like cooking competitions. When I'm feeling seen. down, a good cooking competition can really bring me back. I don't know, I like them a lot. Anything back here? It's just the tissues? I don't think Amanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today. Yeah, she doesn't need to know I'm a gooner. <laughs> Put those away. Okay. <laughs> That's like hardly clean, bitch. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Hey, hang on, what is this? Loves this? I promised I'd watch, but it's been four months and I don't have the heart to tell him I probably won't. Legend has it, Samson here is older than Hellerton itself. Probably. Did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. I want to make her wait, because I know it's a very Life is Strange thing to just, like, <laughs> be like, hey, I've been waiting here. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. Aww. You're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Yeah, hence the purple hair. Go bigger, go home, I always say. Focaccia? Oh, fuck me up. She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago, and now- I know, Max. I know. All right, Amanda, Why? I'm going to judge your character based on how you handle this scene. I mean, she was just... <laughs> okay, initiated a touch. A little early. Sorry, I'm such a wreck. Thank you for looking out for me. Um, She hasn't really done anything yet other than spam text us. God, how embarrassing. I'm falling apart right in front of you. Sorry for it. Don't you dare. Yeah, like you are that. hereby ordered to be nice to yourself. Like that, too. I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food. With food. Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? I can always eat focaccia. Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. That's what I'm saying. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. You're gonna make a joke about that, aren't you? <laughs> wowzers. Not the wowzers. That's Max's line. That's crazy. Wowzers. Amazeballs. <laughs> it's not what I meant. You must not have heard it before. Look at the way she's looking at me, Doug. Uh, we're fumbling a little bit. Shit. That came out wrong. My thoughts have been kind of... It's cool. <laughs> I'll never be able to hear drink you under the table the same way again. <laughs> I like that. You need to eat, Max. Yeah. Get depression. The stuff that makes anything. you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Ah, uh, that's true. Whoa. Oh no, what did I forget to clean? I haven't seen one of these since oh, I was a like right. ton. That's fine. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. Everyone says that. I it's like, like my style. Always have. So, I don't know. Tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo. You better not take my picture when I'm like this. Feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a oh, picture. Oh, she's suffering herself. Wait, that's Amanda. a. 
That's cute. Friend. Oh. Yeah. We. Oh. I know you asked me out. I mean, we're not together yet, right? But honestly. She trick us down. You've got a lot on your plate. Emotionally. Are you going to let me decide that? Or do you just not want to be a part of that? Because those are two different things, you know? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I can make it work. I don't want them to lock me out of the choice. Ugh, I can make it work. I can handle it. I've dealt with tough shit before. But I can't handle okay, it. Okay, so it is about her. That's fine. And if it's, it's not what either of us needs, at least. Not right now. That's fine if it's not what you want. Trust me. But don't try to make that decision for me. Now, how about that photo? That's what I'm talking about. Max, you gotta be able to accept that, you know? I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence? Silly. <laughs> Is that my only options? Show me your goofy side. So you're serious? <laughs> you're pointing nice. at it. Oh, I kind of like that one. Uh, no. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you gonna backhand someone? That's crazy. How about you give me some serious ones? Stoic. Hmm. Supermodel. Oh, I didn't mean to take that. <laughs> we got it. We're, we're retaking that. Wait, that's a double exposure. Wait, I just... <laughs> did I go too quickly? Hold on. I meant to zoom in. Wait, I kind of like these two. Dude, the space buns are really doing it. Hold on. We might cook here. Hang on. I like that one. <laughs> double exposure? What is this? Oh, I can double them up? Wait, that's so funny. Wait, hold on. How do I... Uh... And then we go back to serious. I think that kind of goes hard. Yeah? What do we think? The face of someone who knew how to cheer me up today with some homemade grub. Dude, this got 104 likes and 6 comments in like a second. <laughs> what? Double exposure is hard to use. I might have to look into how to take double exposure shots just so I could uh, take better photos in this game. I can't remember the last time she made me anything and I'm her sister. <laughs> I made you breakfast three days ago. This is the best. The best part of brewing at the turtle is that face. <laughs> Agreed. If you haven't had my cousin's Johnny cakes yet, you're missing out. Her whole family commented on this. Thank you. I'll make them for just anybody. Anytime you want to hop on the grill at the turtle, you let me know, boss. <laughs> Slam it. A queso reference. <laughs> How about another one? Different pose this time. I do too. Okay. Okay. Why not? Oh, modeling shoot. Oh, I uh. interrupted. Oh shit! Sorry, it's Sophie's mom. Um, just, just a sec, okay? Yeah, Snoop. Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. My condolences, you doing okay? We'll keep it casual. How are you holding up? graceful way to answer that question not without lying have you ever dealt with loss like this not like yours yes unfortunately not like yours i've never been a mom <sighs> nothing like what you've experienced no i've experienced Show loss you never have to I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so. Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be you in my office leave. all day. 
Don't leave. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. One moment. Taking the camera. Can to walk with me? I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. It's what you do. Yeah, she's right. This is the she one does take care of her friends, at least. Today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you. <laughs> Such a hideous jacket, dude. I hate it. <laughs> I really want the purple cat outfit. Uh, Life is Strange walk to campus. I guess we're on campus. You skating? Skating backwards? Okay, show off. Nice campus. That's way too many stairs though. <laughs> Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. Okay, yeah, noted. Based out. Well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. <laughs> Fuck me. Ugh. Better head to First the day outside. Yasmin's expecting me. She say head straight there. Nah, do the classic turn around. You got a vape. I want to know if there's anything around the place. Map? Look at the map. You are here. <laughs> yeah, so that's all the buildings. It's not a big campus. It's not going to let me go that way. So, how'd you do me? The dating apps? Produce aisle? <laughs> it's like when uh, Chloe and Rachel skip, skip school. And we're like playing the improv game. Damn it, Reggie! Box. Me box. I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. Uh, we'll come back to that, I guess. Graffiti rock. Graffiti rock looks so naked. R.I.P. What's wrong with you, Reggie? Reggie's a bit rough around the edges, but he's a good kid. Reminds me of a few old friends. You got vape too. Oh, Max. You have the Benjamin. The last time I saw you this mad was when you dropped your phone in the Lake Champlain. I stole my Champlain. best picks. <laughs> I heard about what happened. Fucking crazy, you know, here of all places. You and Safi were pretty close, huh? Yeah, really close. She was the best friend I've had in a long time. Shit, I can't even imagine. Two of you always seemed like you were having a blast together. What's on your mind? You think, dog? <laughs> They're fucking dead. Are you holding up? You skipped my workshop. See you later. Are you holding up? Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't think I don't you know. are. I don't feel like you're tweaking. I didn't really know, Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean... I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. Yeah, she had an impact. Kind of seems like the whole campus is. Oh, I should check on uh, Moses later. 
Skip my workshop. I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. Yeah, you saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough, but it was honest. <laughs> You're a natural, whether you like it or not. Okay, Jefferson. <laughs> you think so? Uh, let's, let's show how to actually have faith in your students, Shit. Max. You got this. I've never been a natural before. All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Oh, Reggie seems okay. Can't put it off forever. What is this? A box? It's all yours if you want it. Thanks. I love trinkets. So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. Got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? This is a cult. Sorry. Society secret. This is def definitely a cult. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key of Braxis virtue. Yeah. The eye for detail. An eye on the moon means. and a star. You want to give it a shot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, bird with a sun and some other symbols around it. Moon with a star. Moon with a pyramid. Snake puzzle circle. Uh, foundry statue. And I. Foundry statue and I. Okay. Why would they switch the sides for the zoom compared to the camera? <laughs> That's weird. Uh, okay. Founder this statue. This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The founder statue? Yeah, I, the guy I think with so. a bird and a book. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Got one on each oh, side. I didn't even notice that. Is this not the other bird? Yeah, bird. Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that wax? around it smash it hey do you have a lighter or melt it yeah why what are you thinking bro's got a lighter on him with a pendulum melt the wax no shit <laughs> we solved the cult's puzzle i just I, I. An eye for detail, huh? Hmm, I get it. What's inside it? Oh, and put the bird on the founder. Gotcha. And a second test. Of course. Oh hell no! It it's your headache now. <laughs> Are you sure? You know what? Deal with that. Nah, I'll get in there. All right. Catch you later, Reggie. <laughs> I'll get in there at some point. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're going. I want to look at the kids skating. This piece must weigh a ton. Yeah, but I bet. It's barely touching the ground. It's made of. I do a backflip. Not backwards, backflip. She really wanted to talk. All right, we're going. Got our map. Anyone we can talk to? Doesn't look like it. No collectibles here. Snow what? Snow David? Hang in there, David. Okay. Interesting. Maya Okada. I wonder who she was. Maybe they'll plant a tree for Safi too. A student, it looks like. Also known as the Japanese cherry or a sakura tree. Cherry blossom trees do not yield cherries for eating, but instead produce beautiful pink flowers. They typically bloom from March to April in the Northern Hemisphere. 
The cherry blossom is the national flower of Japan. Planted in memory of Maya Okada. R.I.P. What is this? Legend says that if you give Face Box Man a little smooch, he gets seven years of good luck. Hey, you Legend need that. Go up there and give that. Give Face All right, go up there and give that. Smooch, he gets seven years of good luck. I think seven years of good luck would do you good, Max. No turtle for me. All right. It'll look bad if Yasmin finds out I'm putting her off. Just when you thought the online tests were behind us. Love to see it. That's Loretta something. I've seen her in a few of my workshops. The podcast bitch? Sure major, I think. Doesn't yeah, look, look like, like me. She's getting the scoop she wanted. Also, I like that my hair is just not purple anymore. Hey, hang on. Try, I'm trying to make a side by side. Sorry. Is she recording? She kind of looks like a mix of me and Steph. Wait, Loretta, face stealer. Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like it's me to okay start to with my time okay. travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? Uh, I think you should start with Chloe's dad, probably. <laughs> That's when everything kind of went downhill. <laughs> that day you left. I'll head over to admin to see Yasmin soon. Can't go in the bathroom. Probably for the best. Nothing good has ever happened to us when we got into a Life is Strange bathroom. Don't know how the elevator works, buddy. You press the button. Let's say police. Emrod doesn't know how to use a fucking elevator. Uh, admins to the left. Okay, so Yasmin is that way. What can we do in here? Besides, make fun of the cop. It's a shame. I was so looking forward to being terrorized by Saint Nick's shriveled mutant sidekick. Krampus on campus. I kind of like that. Ah, oh, board games. Board game nights canceled. Man. Ooh, look at that clock. I can't be late to see as mean if I never gave her a time. True. There's so much art. Dude, I wish I went to like an art heavy school. There's so much cool shit on I'll campus. they've got quite an eye for photography. When I went to yeah, the university, the building that I was in you know, despite was the art like shared large, with the I think this one is actually right side up. With the with the art kids. And yeah, it is. That's cool. Uh, and like inside that building, there was like a lot of cool shit, like structures and paintings and just like art in general. But like everywhere else on campus, it was Amazing. nothing like that. Like most places, Lakeport is a lot more complicated than it appears. Sarah Buried, enrolled member of the Nulhagen Band of the Kusik Abnegi Nation, the Treaty for a New Age, Mixed Media. I apologize for butchering all of that. Oh, I like this. Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kind of, this is like, um, what's that one game? Heavy Rain? Jason? You followed the balloon to his death. <laughs> all right. Clearly, I'm not the only artist on this campus. Oh, this is Amanda's. Amanda on the brain. A painter. Like very abstract. May we all one day aspire to be as happy as a burgeoning goth kid with his first skull balloon. <laughs> Staying back here, normies. Whoa. Why are you hiding back here? Said anything about murder? The email said there was a death. You know that it was a murder? I heard she was strangled. Scratch marks on her neck and everything. Really? Wait, really? I thought she was shot. That's what I heard. True believer. So scratch marks, you mean like crypto enthusiasts? Big scary talons. Come on, I never said that. Like Mothman? Mothman? Mothman would never. I'm not hearing any better explanation. How dare. If a cryptid killed her, would it even be considered a murder? Doesn't murder require premeditation? Cryptids can premeditate. Yeah, I know all about cryptids now after we played Scarlet Hollow. Like a boyfriend or a sibling. 
Oh my god, dude, do not. Do you think this chick was dating Bigfoot? Yeah, man. You're being so disrespectful. Clearly a lesbian, but you know, probably dated Bigfoot. Coffee. Oh, maybe Someone she got one for Yasmin. To live. She drink coffee? Maybe. Probably. Coffee all the way. Hey, uh. Good choice. Want coffee? Sure thing. Free? Oh, I, I get life is strange a moment. Do my little city sit. <sighs> Look at the world. Ah. Uh. Crave moments I like these. Never come back to Arcadia Bay. Don't crave that one. Did you really say that to me? I haven't stayed in one place this long since. Well, it's been a while. We got in a fight and she said that shit? That's crazy. Feels like. And now, this. Why are they pushing Chloe away from us? I should have known better than to hope things would be different. Does anyone want that? <laughs> it feels like I'm cursed. Like. No matter how fast and far I run, the past is still gonna find me. Does anyone want a timeline where Max and Chloe hate each other? I don't think anyone does. Oh, it's me! Walking with ghosts. I gotta go look at my painting right Ugh. I love this game. Yeah, I can't tell you what Life is Strange means to me. It really pulled me out of a dark place. Oh, actually, I'm really curious. Uh, let me know what your life exchange getting into the game experience was. I'll talk about mine since we have like a scene like this is nice. The way that I got into Life is Strange is I was watching a Twitch stream. No, I wasn't watching a Twitch stream. Uh, I had clicked on a Twitch streamer who I like watch on occasion, like not a ton. Uh, if you're a longtime YouTube fan, specifically in the Call of Duty community, <laughs> Uh, you've probably heard of Gold Glove TV. I'm a big Goldie enjoyer. Um, but I had only watched him ever play Call of Duty and like sports games. Like he was like, I watch him play baseball. Like that's, that's it. That was the only content I consumed from him. But I clicked on his stream one day and he was on like episode four of Life is Strange. Uh, and it was the scene where you're at the Vortex Club party and he was in the back rooms with the one guy that was like, yeah, I just vape the dank OG Kush or whatever that line is. And I was like, from that moment forward, I rewatched the VOD that night of him playing every episode up until that point. <laughs> and then I binged like 15 other creators. I like stayed up for a full 24 hours just watching different playthroughs of Life is Strange because that's how much the game had meant to me at the time. Uh, I love Life is Strange, dude. I think Goldie's going to play Double Exposure too, which is exciting. I get to continue my tradition of watching him play the game. It's always the first playthrough I go to first, is watching his. I love Life is Strange moments. Okay, I gotta see my painting. Ooh, that's pretty. Who did this? The sky cat attacks. <laughs> hey, I like the pop prints. I wonder if they're intentional. I kind of hope they're not. Took this right after I left Arcadia Bay. I think that's the most alone I've ever felt. It's what's left of the diner. Oh my god. Order up. <laughs> Safi told me to look at this whenever I feel like an imposter. To remind me that I've earned this. I'll do it, Safi. I promise. After receiving her first camera at the age of six, a contacts T2, Maxine Caulfield has sought to capture a life that evades explanation. From the recent green hell of the recession era Pacific Northwest to the ancient industrial wastelands of the Rust Belt, she has restored meaning to empty places, illuminating the plights of everyday people living on the brink of change. A winner of the IPA award in the National Geographic Fellowship, she is currently Caledon University's Hannah, Harrell, Hannah Hellerton Artist in Residence. Good for you, Max. Glad you're putting oh, it together. I can't even look at this right now. <laughs> My old stuff so is metaphoric. just cringe. Dipshi? Dip, 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 
Diptych? Diptych 11? What's that saying? If you're going through hell, keep going. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, this is just the Maxine Caulfield co uh, corner. Kind of a big deal. Love to see it. Okay, let's go say hi to Jasmine. Thanks for nothing, Khaled on campus security. One more thing. I like <laughs> Too little, too late. In compliance with federal disclosure policies, Calhoun University are giving notice of violent crime that was committed on campus December 4th at approximately 11 p.m. It was only 11 p.m. Everett Observatory Overlook tra Trail reported an offense. A female graduate student was found dead, the victim of a gunshot wound. If you have any information that might be helpful in this investigation, contact campus security by phone, text 802 555 To reduce your chances of being a victim of a crime, be aware of your surroundings and vigilant to those around you. Yeah, this stuff always pops up after and I thought a man the accidents happened, or, you know? It's back. It's the second annual comedy festival. If well, we'll I go see up Amanda. Alley, I'm sure these chuckle fucks can bypass a door. Chuckle fucks. Attention, Caledon students. There have been reports about a number of break ins happening across Lakeport. Please be vigilant. Remember to always lock your doors and windows before leaving your dorms. If you have any information regarding the situation, please don't hesitate to contact camp campus security by phone or text. Take care of each other, Cardinals. I feel like if this happens, you would have to, like, like, I feel like it's best to just shut the school down, right? And then. Send everyone home who can go home and then try and take care of the kids who don't have anywhere to go. Why is this open if there's nothing I can look at in here? That's my pet peeve in video games. Stop that. I hate when games do that. Okay, back to the main hall. The bicycle painting. Is that a penguin head in the spokes? The spokes? Oh, yeah, I see it. Every so often, I find myself just randomly clicking the rewind button just to see if anything pops up. New crosstalk post. Get a clue okay. with LR. Yasmin's office the is down the hall. We went through a lot of hurdles to get to her office. <laughs> it's really nice to have something small to laugh at, actually. K King Arthur to the Knights of the Round Table. Men, we ride at dawn. Knights, cheering. King Arthur opens his eyes in bed. The sun is out. Okay, well, we ride at 1030 then. <laughs> King Arthur leisurely pursues the castle breakfast bar. I know what I said, Brian. We ride when we ride. <laughs> Historically accurate, I'm sure. Oh, we're reporting on Safi's death as details emerge. If you knew her, my DMs are open. Can't wait for your first episode on this arc, already hooked. Now, where are you going with this, Loretta? Email me and we'll discuss the appropriateness of this project, When Appreciate the concern, but get a clue as a personal project, not a course assignment. It's gonna get messy. I'm writing something and it comes from a personal place, but it also terrifies me. Is it even worth finishing? Hell yes. Shut up, I already know your opinion. Anything about me should be published. Once again, the poem's not about you. It includes you. It is not about you. Sure. Take a chance. Professor Palmanero is always saying you're going in the right direction if it takes you... Unexpected places. Dude, fuck that guy. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> I like that. Not if it risks your grades. It's personal to me. That's more important. You say that now. Dude, Tim's a dickhead. <laughs> Tim has commented on a few posts and they've never been good. Okay, we can turn around, but... It's another... Oh, it's another room. Thanks for nothing, Caledon Camp. Wow. The same thing. Is this a student literary mag or a Lucas Colmanero fanzine? Plumage, Caledon University Arts and Literary Magazine. Lucas, professor and department chair of literature. 
Accepting all fiction, nonfiction, poetry, and art through January 1st. Open to all students, regardless of major. What's the purpose of a voice if it stays silent forever? Lucas. Questions and submissions? Okay. Nothing else in here? Oh my god, this place is huge. There's so much to explore. We play it. Oh, you're not the ones talking. Are you? Who's talking? No. What did he do this time? You too. Nothing, but his place was broken into a couple days ago, and he's apparently not the only one. Damn. Yeah, I heard Monica's place got hit like a week ago. What's Fayad doing about it? Fuck. Hey, don't mind me eavesdropping. Oh, I can't get through. Are you serious? Oh, thank God. You know, Gretch, it's okay to be sad. You don't have to be so stone-faced all the time. <laughs> Never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow. <laughs> Member of Caledon University's first co-ed class, Gretchen pioneered the Caledon Women's Equi Equality League, the Caledon Collar, and other initiatives that continue making Caledon a great place for students to to this day. Recommended Guess reads. Guess everyone's too literary for YA these days. You know about YA. Cowards. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. Real. I like the vibe of a fireplace, but it doesn't compare to a radiator. These are all by current or former faculty. Now I feel like a slacker. Maya Okada. There she is Her again. name was on the plaque for that tree outside. I wonder who she was. Great biography. English lessons. I did come all this way to turn back now. Oof, what a title. I have to admit, this is a bigger outpouring of exhaustion than I expected. You too. The student died when I was at Yale. And the response was passive. So quiet. Dropping is pretty much the main perk of teaching at an Ivy. It might be the only one. <laughs> so, talking I shit. That student could write like a doctor to freshmen. Nope. Nor were they the university president. In one way or another, I'm going to be feeling Jackie's death soon. Uh, let me catch you talking shit again about Safi. Nothing makes you feel alone like a chair made for two. Okay, well this was the library. Some interesting stuff in here, but these are all by current or former faculty? Now I feel like a slacker. Ah, uh, you're a photographer, you're not a writer. Don't worry about that. Uh Safi. I should probably write something. Even if you I should. can't find the you right really words. Goodbye message. We won't cry because you're gone. We'll smile because you lived. I hate that. <laughs> your life was blessing and your memory a treasure. Your work will touch lives for decades to come. Gone but not forgotten. So I'm so fucking sorry for everything. I'll try to do better from now on. Why is it always the good ones? This place won't be the same without you. You were greatly loved and deeply missed. We love you, Safi. Those who touch our lives stay in our hearts forever. Safi, you have so many hearts to live on in. You are loved beyond words and missed beyond measure. I never got Langston Hughes until you gave your lecture on him. I haven't looked at the weary blues the same way since. Thank you for that, AS. Uh, Ashley, I think? Sister, maybe? Safi, if only I had a time machine, maybe I could tell you everything I want to. Until then, get some rest. I know wherever you are, you're giving them an earful for taking you away from us. In loving memory, Safia. We have to write. I can't not write on this. Who's my best friend? I'll never forget you. Thank you for everything. Never mind. 
Uh, I write both. As an artist and as a friend, thanks. Where'd it go? Where is it? Who is this for, anyway? What I want to say is between me and Safi. I mean, yeah, that's real. We didn't have long together, but in the short time you changed me as an artist and as a person. Thanks for the friendship and the memories. Love, Max. Way to be a combo breaker. Let's go. Look at all these old white men, dude. Yo. Visible change. We love to see it. Yasmin keeps her own cover issue in her office waiting room. A real girl boss move. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you Vin? She said check in with Vin, right? You work admin? Even waiting for Yasmin is a luxury experience. <laughs> really giving me expensive car dealership Aw, oh, dude, whenever I went into a car dealership with my parents when I was younger, I'd always get a hot chocolate. <laughs> Anyone else have that experience? Vin Lang. Total mystery. What kind of title is administrative assistant, anyway? Hey, I worked as one of those for a while. Relax. Howdy, Vin. Howdy. Shut up. Don't judge me. <laughs> I don't <Yes>. like him. <laughs> she texted you to come see her. Yeah, that's why I'm here. she not tell you? I keep telling her to send all comms through me. Oh, but okay. She really didn't sometimes tell Sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Bro, you work Cahoots admin. I'm not going to vouch that it's hard. Influencer. I will vouch that it's a I'm real sorry. job. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. This isn't Riz. Oh. Uh, listen. I'm I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but she was an amazing person and we're all gonna miss her. Why does it sound so fake coming out of you? What kind of issues? She's never mentioned you. <laughs> She's never mentioned you. It's crazy. I'm clicking it. You two knew each other? She never told me. Let well, me find out you were just trying to I play mean, face. Her mom is my boss. <laughs> I mean, that's real. You on the phone? Yeah, I'm going in there. It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. Not the time, dog. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. That's everybody. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation. I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. Uh, that's your whole job as admin is to do shit like that. Does dog. your beneficence know no bounds? Yeah. Now I'm gonna go get it, but only so I can look at it. Fuck! You gotta be kidding me. Gwen. Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. Not the GLHF. Was this a League of Legends game? Where is Gwen? Gwen. I combined the two. Gwen. In here, Gwen. You are. Dr. Gwen Hunter. She was Sophie's mm. mentor for a long time. Was she the one I heard from down? Yeah, she was. I like her tattoo. Gwen? All good? Uh, Max. I, uh, so I'm a hugger. Um, <laughs> Are you... Do we finally get trans representation in a Life is Strange game? Did we... Did we finally get it? We have our... 
Is this our first trans character in Life is Strange? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. Bring it in is crazy. Please never say that again, <laughs> Max. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> yeah, you're healing. I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? I, I Actually, did see that in the accessibility settings of this game that like there is it. a warning for oh. transphobia. Well, so I came in here to pick up this a game will touch on some mature themes, but I feel like you should expect that it since it's a life is strange game. Oh hey, you're like the uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The <laughs> home invader? Yeah, that's a nice skill. Bad reputation, twins. You got a bad rep too? Boom. Oh, let's see it. Bad reputation, twins. Don't worry. We'll get into that display case. Yeah, I'll get in there. Don't worry about me. This copy might be locked in the case, but it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. Expand your horizons with this genre-bending essay collection. Celebrated online essayist Augustina Nandi has compiled new and experimental writings in this explosive collection, which mixes memoir with fiction to make the reader question where her real life ends and her imagined one begins. Find me on shelf 12. Okay, so we have to find shel shelf 12. Expensive display. That's the book block. we need. He loved to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Skinny and curved, you say? Get me in there. Definitely. I just need to find the right tool. Yeah, we'll get you in there. Don't worry. Uh, shelf 12. Okay. 27, 26. Am I too high? Hey, 12. That's B7. This way. 1987. Yeah, okay, yeah. So this way. Uh, oh, Gwen's butt. Oh, it's highlighted. Okay, well. This is definitely easier than breaking into the case. There it is. We got it. That wasn't hard at all. <laughs> yeah, we'll give it back to her. Anything else over here? We've already been here, so I think I explored everything already. Gwen? I uh, found another copy of your book in the stacks. Will that work instead? Oh, uh, thanks, Max. It's oh, just, do you uh, need uh, the same well, one? It's just the one in the case is a 10th anniversary edition. It has a new introduction from the author. Hey, you need the one in the case? You got it. Yeah, you know what? Justify to me, dog. I got you. All right, so we need something that will get us into that case skinny and long and curvy much like myself what looks like me in here kind of there's a pen i don't think i did that earlier that pen looks like the right size for gwen's lock but it needs more of a curve in it so something that's like a pen size i don't see anything new that's in here here we have to explore more still you got any suggestions? Don't worry. We'll get into that display yeah. case. Maybe... Uh... Maybe Vin has something. Ugh. Maybe I'll get his package first, and then he'll like me a little bit more. Actually, I don't think I want him to like me a little bit more. I think he already likes me too much. Elvin? This must have the package Vin was worried about. Maybe he has the key, I and I can, like... Him treat it for like the key to get in there i don't have to break uh -huh. in really admin has the library key right it points me at the door like i'm gonna stop exploring or something those are too thick oh, to scissors. that lock in the oh. library is it weird that i know that at a glance uh a little bit <laughs> i mean you did break into the blackwell oh uh, you know what i need you know what's uh thin and curved the like plaque off of 
the bench <laughs> that Chloe used to get into the viewfinder so that uh, Rachel could get her quarter. That worked. All right, here's your dumb package. Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. Absolutely not. Settle down, we're more than friends. I'm not romancing him. Absolutely not. All right, settle down. You just caught me. Absolutely in a not. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Into that sure. case. Yeah. Nothing I'm glad you know. At least you know. At least not if you're smart. So, what do you want? What into that case? Nothing now, but you'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. That's also very powerful. I'll you take that too. A hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. I've just done this shit before. You have anything? Finn's always up to something shady. Yeah, keep an Dude, eye he on gives him. me weird vibes. Him and Lucas. What did that say? Did that say something different? I know, it's just him. I think I can go behind his desk. That's really funny. Ooh, take? Spoon? Spoon's long and curved. That works. That's a huge spoon. Oh my god. That looks huge. Did not? All right, Gwen, I'm coming back. They got me a spoon. Told you to get in there. Pick lock. Max, have the skill set for this. Hold on now. You might feel a slight pinch. You a lobotomist? Holy lobotomist? Shit. Flobotomist? You did it! You're a lifesaver. Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But I get uh, called that hey, a lot. What can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. Glad to help. What's the book? Uh, I'm curious. What's the book? I hope the book was worth all that trouble. What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> tell me about it. Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? Keep Safi's secret. Mention the book deal. Oh man, you gonna make this choice? Make me make this choice? Yeah, it was Safi's secret, but she was planning on telling us, right? Just not yet. And if she got this book deal, she would have told everyone at some point. I don't know, I want to tell her story, but I also don't want to breach information. I don't think it was information she was like trusting us to hold on to. I don't, know, I'm, I don't like spreading other people's business, but Safi's literally not gonna get to tell how great she was. Actually, she said she had a finished book and that a publisher had made an offer. Why? You're kidding. Oh, good for her. She must have been proud as hell. You better that she kept it a secret for Thanks you? Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. I don't like the way you said you that, dog. Okay, we go back to Yasmi. Why did you say it like that? I was on board until that. Now that was creepy. Oh, Moses? Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Oh, are we drifting apart? I want to ask him how he was, but he's told me how he was. I never texted him back. What does Yasmin want? Why are you? Can it wait? I'm like. Yeah. A husk right now. I. Sorry. I, I should have been a better friend to him. We're both yeah. going through the same thing. Sure. I think he's known her longer. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate and I'll find you when I'm done. Okay, we gotta make it up to him. I'm gonna hang out. I, 
I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Cop? Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Ooh. Overconfident and underqualified. Naturally. You need to be patient. The police are useless. Oh, Max, speaking my language. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Ugh. Well, they're the only Sounds so good to hear that you're with your words, Max. I thought I was the only advocate. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be difficult. Did she tell you that? I had a feeling family is like that. Family is like that. No, but family is always complicated, isn't it? Who has a perfect <laughs> relationship with their mom? I sure don't. Well, not Safi. Not always. So, what's your question? You did it? I don't know, dude. I wasn't there. I mean, I was there. <laughs> I guess I can't say Despite I wasn't there. <laughs> everything they have found. The police oh. have still not ruled no, no, no. out suicide not at all. as the cause of death. Oh, if it's a gunshot and you couldn't find a gun, it would be on her body still. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? No, not at all. <laughs> Absolutely not. There's no, There's been zero evidence that's pointed towards that this entire game. Unless I missed something, but I can't think of anything that... I mean, right up until like the point where she was walking off, she like chain-smoked and then kicked the snowman over, but I don't think she was going to kill herself over that. Action will have consequences. I don't Sophie think it will. Would never <laughs> have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. I mean, maybe, but I don't she think that's still the case. Last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Yeah. Happy and hopeful. It would have had to been some insane news for her to jump that drastically. She would have showed signs throughout their entire I'm relationship sorry. that it was getting bad. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. I get we're like troubled art kids, but like, I think that's a bit of a jump to assume that. I gotta get this jacket oh, off. <laughs> um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing? Why does it sound like we're listening through sure. a door? <laughs> Why was that muffled? Pick like a photo, photo for the program. To capture Safi? That's a tough ask. Word photo. This is the one on her desktop. Yasmin was so proud of Safi. Signed, Yasmin. I had no idea she painted. It's not terrible, <laughs> but it's a good thing she kept her day job. The stuff. From what I've heard about Krampus, this must have been taken at the beginning of the night. <laughs> yeah, drunk night. Oh, that's cute. Damn, Yasmin. And I barely finished my GED. Oh, I guess we would have had to drop out of high school after the Jefferson incident. Yasmin got to see Safi's early drafts. That's a rare privilege. Shit, drafts. Wait, I didn't read it. Yasmin got to see Safi's early drafts. That's a rare privilege. 
We slept through the stars. We melted. Wax women. Icarus need not be mentioned. It's less about how close you get to the sun and more about the heat of consumption. I dream of mangled books. Frankensteinian. Sphinx-like. Head of a woman. On the body of a beast. On the first page she leaves home in the unprintable epilogue. She returns to the ground. Mom, take a good look if you get a chance. No rush, just messing around and trying to get a fix on my feelings. Let me know what you think. Love you. I don't know how to really read poetry. I, I hope I didn't like butcher that really badly, but it's cool. It's very philosophical. Safi I think. loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such <laughs> a dark. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. Well, I like that one. Safi cared so much about everything she did. Her passion should live on. Yeah, I like that one a well, lot. I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Talk to him in the fab. Looks like there's no other choices. Oh, business card. Yasmin is following the case really closely. Too bad they haven't found anything. When has a man named Vince ever done anything? Vince Alderman Detective. Ugh. Alright, see you, Yasmin. Enjoy your phone call. I'm heading out. Okay, see ya. Hope things get better. She's probably going through it. It was on the screen. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. I read it. It's his own profile. Interesting. Finn's always up to something shady. Yeah, he is. Gotta keep an eye on him. All right. The fab is not the the turtle place, right? Like, I'm assuming the fab is where I got coffee earlier. Oh, fine arts building. Yeah. That was on the sign, too. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. Oh, we can buy him a hot chocolate. Try and uh, rectify the situation. Like Gwen? Did I see Gwen? I told you. Don't contact Whoa. me on this phone. And text only, no Got calls. Got something going on? Hmm. This sounds interesting. Well, I'm I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting mm -hmm. call? Uh, yeah. Loretta, jeez. Oh, me square. the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Oh, you too? Seems I'm not the only one. You caught me. I, was, I wasn't eavesdropping. I mean, she caught us, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story. Oh, I she's a podcasting hear. bitch. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out. You know, one snoop to another. I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Yeah, what do you need? You gonna make me famous? By the hell, podcast, not right now. Uh, I mean, we know about the podcast, but I'll ask anyway. Um, maybe? We know it's a true crime podcast, Tell actually. That's all we know. about it first. Part journalism, part analysis, investigative type stuff. I like investigative the human journalism. Condition. You get Don't it. Don't go over bounds with this. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fire. Oh, she switched it on immediately. Her like oh. journalism. Um. Base. I want to do this. Yes, I was. Why are you asking? Yes, I was. Yeah, we're. We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I have no idea, man. I'm not going to help you smear Safi. 
Yeah, that's also crazy. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. You're gonna sure have to do that, dog. To talk about. Are you blackmail? Wait, are you blackmailing me? Call her bluff, answer her questions. Am I getting blackmailed? This is crazy. Can I smear her back? If I okay, if I call her bluff, right? She's just gonna be pissed and walk over and tell Gwen that I was eavesdropping. If I answer her questions, I can kind of fuck with her a little bit, you know? We're gonna answer. Cause I I like I'd rather be proactive. Of Safi using her mom's position like that, not on purpose for sure. Ask me just a real question. Accidental nepotism. Gotcha. Think it was enough to piss somebody off? Seems like Safi rubbed a few people the wrong way. Who doesn't? How should I know? Go talk to somebody who's been here longer than six months. Got any suggestions? Names? I thought I was going to be able to choose the answers, but oh, I can, kind of. Ben Lang, Dr. Hunter, President Fayad. Yeah, maybe go talk to her yourself. Actually, I don't want her to think that I recommended her to talk to you. Well, go talk to Ben. <laughs> I don't care about him. Got a hunch Finn Lang knows a lot more than he's letting on. Interesting. Actually, find out for me, too. <laughs> Good lead. I might be able to use you. That'll do for now, I think. Thanks, Miss Caulfield. Yeah, yeah. You're a student. Try and blackmail you again. I'll end your whole bloodline. There's no way you're still staring at this elevator waking waiting for it to work. Are you you're greened out, aren't you? Hello? Why do you look at me like that? Stop stop looking at me. Dude, he's coked out of his mind. That brother is off fent. Do you see the way that he looked at me? Hey. Lay off the galaxy gas. Stop! 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 I gotta go. I got I can't look at that. I can't look at that. Oh torn up earlier. That was the most horrifying thing I've seen in this game so far. Holy shit, that was terrible. Dude is in another planet. Uh, where is that going? Hot chocolate? Hey, what is this? Can I wear you a hot chocolate? Coffee. For when you lose your will to live. How do I? How do I? I wonder oh. if Moses forgot his hot chocolate. Oh, wait, can I go back here? How do I? How do I talk to him? I have to go to Moses first? Poor Moses. He seems so out of it. I don't even think he got his hot chocolate. Yeah, I get it. He doesn't have his hot chocolate. I want to. I want to get him. Oh, I just had to look at him first. Okay, hot chocolate. Hey, can I get a hot chocolate? For Moses, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, I can't leave Moses lost in his thoughts, alone. Thank you. Really. Where is it? Oh. Here, to warm you up. You don't have hypothermia. I totally forgot. The hot Thanks. chocolate guy. I don't even know where to start. I'm sick of grieving. Sorry, I didn't call you. I need to apologize. I absolutely need hey. to apologize first. I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. <laughs> we should have gotten through it together. We're friends. I get why you didn't. Really. A good guy, Moses. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell but we're both here now and we're going to get through i just 
I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us it go with her, It happened like Max? three seconds. Why do we let her walk off alone like that? She's an adult. <laughs> she can make her own decisions. It's not on us. Don't torture yourself with a white ass dog. <laughs> Treat her like any other don't, human adult. <laughs> don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, yeah, I'll I'm thankful be there. it's not too late. Jesus. I swear it. Yeah, I gotta keep that promise. Sophie weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Oh. <laughs> Sophie Wait, is this it? Title. This guy that was but like, it reminds me of that book I read lie. once. And being remembered for one's words is a kind Rest of immortality. Rest in peace for every young. Never forgotten. Grief is fleeting. Daily. But words. This is Lucas. Words are deathless. The pretentious black and white photo. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Oh, Safi, Safi hated him? Oh, that's different then. Ew, he's honoring her after they had a bad relationship? That's so cringe. He's wasting air. Maybe he's changed. I doubt I don't he's changed. Shit what Lucas does. He shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Yeah, he's making it out to be like he's the good guy Sophie doing this for her. The audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. Ah, go up there. Go up there and talk some shit. <laughs> I'm down. Anyway, I'll find you later. I can't watch this. You don't want to see me walk up there, Moses? I got some shit to say. Oh, is he gonna uh, let me? Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up, or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses Ooh. company. Come from Moses. I got new attacks. Let's look at our attacks first. Maybe he'll fire me up. Thanks again, Miss Caulfield, for answering my questions. Can I leave her on red? It's a one-off thing. <laughs> I should have just left her on red. <laughs> Don't get used to it. Yeah, I'll take what I can get. No way. Good, because that's all I have. Nosy kid reporter's questions will come back to bite me. Yeah, that's why I threw Vinny on it. Vinny, then. Appreciate you taking care of my package. It can be temperamental in the wrong hands. Please, for the love of God, change your, 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 your. Phrasing. Keep it friendly. Don't don't turn out to be the warring character. You do the same for me, would I though? You would, and then Double you'd expect some kind of payment to be made name later. Right? Imagine doing something for someone and not expecting something. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Yeah, I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him. On Crosstalk. Just one. One new post. Yo, any cryptid sightings around the Overlook? Are you cryptid guy, Kyle? I've heard some stories and it's got me thinking. Seriously? This better not be more of your conspiracy shit, Kyle. Safi meant something to a lot of people having a decent, have some decency, man. I mean, on the off chance that it is supernatural, I think that's fitting for Life is Strange. Actually, I don't think that's fitting for Life is Strange. <laughs> they've never once done like a, like a supernatural monster angle, I don't think. Like, yeah, they've had a main character with powers, but They've never just like thrown cryptids into the game. I haven't, anything, anything, I haven't heard anything about a cryptid, but I have heard about strange occurrences. You should be onto something. You could be onto something. We should compare notes. Loretta is definitely built to be a journalist. That's for sure. Uh, how do I shut this shit down? You'll be missed dearly, Sophie. 
You'd want me to shut this shit down, right? Right? You hate him? You wouldn't want him doing this? I feel like she'd expect me to talk some shit, right? Diamond oh, it's Diamond. Does not look happy to be here. Seems kind of, you know, Let me survey the public real quick. Field trip. Mr. Colmanero said we needed to commemorate the loss of one of our own. Can't you commemorate inside where it's warm? You'd think, but... Um... Permission to speak freely? Uh, talk your shit. Permission granted. Professor C wants the whole campus to see how torn up he is. Ah. It's all a big show. I wish I had this shit down. Truly. Whomst among us has suffered as he has. That's messed up, man. Using oh, the situation shit. to paint yourself in a good light. Ugh. Think. You and Safi. How are you holding up? Got it. Yeah. Diamond not seems cool for a student. To be honest. Pretty extremely not great. But hey, I'm still breathing. You're not alone, Max. If you need anything. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. I definitely won't be coming to you because <laughs> that's uh, probably a little inappropriate. But I do appreciate the effort. Thanks, Diamond. Diamond and Reggie seem OK. I don't mind them. Jeez, Lucas, your class must be freezing. Yeah, we're standing out in the cold. All right, time to shut the shit down. Jeez, what a dick. Did I get a minigame for it? Max. Good to see you. You don't look happy to see me. Too cold for this? You made this about you. Oh, I can just tell it how it is? I'm telling it how it is. Who knew you were so self-centered? Dick move. Max is not one to hold paying back. tribute to my colleague? Seems like you're paying tribute to Lucas Colmenero. I'm allowed to say this, too. I'm her best friend. You were close friend. to Safi, too, weren't you? Anything you'd like to say? Yeah, she hated your guts. Yeah, no, I'll say so. oh, I'll say something. Yeah, I think I could share. Let me, let me hop up there next to you for this. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Share the spotlight. I knew Safi well. And she deserves justice. She would have hated this. She loved her work. She would have hated this shit, this dog. Would have been a total nightmare for her. The self seriousness of it all would have made her skin crawl. She was shit, there Lucas. And made the dumbest faces you've ever seen. Just to get me to laugh. Uh, Diamond gave me the motivation, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that she isn't here right now to fuck with us? It's not fair. No, because, like, that all came from the heart, you know? Like, it wasn't projecting. Class is missed. He's gonna be pissed at me, but... Enough of this. I should see how Moses is doing. You're just gonna continue on that insanity that you're just gonna keep going like nothing Maybe happened. Maybe I should rub the toe for luck. Mine's been pretty shitty lately. Actually, you should, Max. Can I do that? I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's in diabolical that you're gonna keep going. Can I talk to Diamond now? God, poor Diamond. I, can't. I feel awful for Safi's students. Oh. I can't believe you're still gonna go. Hello? Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? Talk to him. I love Max. What a great protagonist Max is. Where did Moses head to? Can you imagine like uh, just like uh, being Max and sprinting around campus while everyone walks? It's so funny to me. We go this way? Oh no, we don't go this way. Here we go. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> Where did Moses head to? How do I get what you two have? <laughs> You'll find it, Max. Mando, a new leaf. Poor Moses. Just a lot he for really her to go through that with you right now. That night. It'd be a lot messier too if she tried to force it instead of just being like, "Hey, I need to grow first before I can handle all this." <laughs> 
So, did it make you feel better? Shut no, up. it didn't. I still think it was right. We both know it wouldn't. What I really wanted was to see Safi shut him up. Yeah. <laughs> God, can you even imagine? Mm. Hey, I have a question about Safi. Reminiscing? Okay. Suspense special? How did you meet her? Ooh. I want to know if this bench is special. There's a reason why he sat over here, right? What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Is that where you guys met? Oh, yeah. Guess we did, huh? Two options that led to the same teach. answer. When we were both teaching summer school. Life is strange, more common than For you think. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah. I'm going to use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. Hey, do what you got to do, Doc. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. I do think that at some point you have just to move on, but a little longer. <laughs> we could, we'll play into it. How'd you meet her? How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. <laughs> Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. Yeah, I want to go to Japan She just so finished badly. a poem called Hanami. It means... Watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yes, yeah. I will come through this time. I promise, promise. Moses. You too. Yeah? Yeah, I will. I think Moses is reliable. This music makes me think otherwise, but... <laughs> no, 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 not this shit again. No, 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 not this jumping into the photo shit again. Life is strange, you can't do this to me. Moses? Rewind's coming back. Oh, I just sat up in my chair. Not to raise the hand. It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right colors. You can see what happens in an area? Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. And it's gone. So we can't go back in time. What is that? You can see, like, memories from an area? Other Moses. How do I bring him back? Press right bumper to pulse and find other Moses. Oh, there he is. No, no. There he is over there. Oh, yeah. It, like, takes me back in time, but I don't leave because there's people that are disappearing and people that are reappearing. Or I guess it could be future in time, but she mentioned that people weren't using this much anymore, so I feel like it should be past. Diamond and Moses. I'm unarmed. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Hey, this is cool. I like this. I can like see incidents that happened in the past without going there Where now. My power has evolved. Moses going? What's happening over here? Wait, well, hey Moses, chill operations. for a second. But all the holiday stuff was postponed. I can walk through it week. too. 
It's not actually here, obviously. Wait, this is cool. Let's see what's actually here and what's not. Hide your shoe. Keep following that other Moses. I need to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I'm with him. Is it just people or is it items as well? No, this lake is still frozen, so. I don't know, maybe I could see things like that. But dude, it's like a ripple bubble. It's like as long as I stay in this bubble, it like stays up. In our phone it shows objects Where too is that other moses going yeah man it should like disappear when i leave this yeah it's like a bubble i open a new bubble <laughs> this is so cool i love this This is gonna give us so much information we we're, we're not actually gonna know. This is happening. This is real. Yeah, my fault. My fault, gang. I can see if people are talking shit about me. Dude, I'd be so nosy with this. I can't have this power. really was Safi, I think. I have to get to her. Do I follow her instead? Find a way to talk to her? Can I text her? Can I text her in the past? <laughs> Who's she calling? Max, if you're not here in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell Moses that you don't want to go away. That's a threat. Oh my god. Don't worry, I'm here. If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Right here. Sophie! I'm right here! Right in front of you! People are gonna think I'm freaks in the real world. Two hands. Fuck it. I got pizza rolls in my office. Oh my god. Wait, I repeatedly press it? Oh my god. I just broke a barrier. Am I in the past? Oh my god, I'm in the past. What if we Jeez. There you are. Thought I was gonna freeze to death. Oh, no, 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 no. Safi, I need you to tell me everything now immediately. Oh, how do I explain this to her? We gotta do another Chloe diner power proving scene. Surely we do that at Amanda's bar. At the, the frog. The frog? <laughs> Why do I call it the frog? The snapping turtle. Wait, this could be really dangerous. There is way too much potential to this. Oh. Oh, the choices. What happened to Chloe? Chloe lived or Chloe died? 60% said Chloe lived. Chloe is grateful to be alive, but the past still haunts you both. Ask a man as, out as a friend or as a date. 69% date thing. A man is excited to pursue a romantic relationship with you. I mean, if my choices are him, her and Vin. Oof. Finish Loretta's interview or call her bluff? Most people call her bluff. Loretta is pleasantly surprised you answer your questions. Just because I think it'd be worse off if she, like, went up to uh, Gwen and was like, Yeah, Max was listening to your conversations. Abandoned spaces. Max likes empty spaces for potential. 
13%. Max likes empty spaces for the presumed uselessness. <laughs> I was in the minority for that. Bowling alley plushie. 61%. Max stole a bowling alley plushie. Max did not steal a bowling alley plushie. Most people found it. Chloe relationship. 23%. Max and Chloe were just friends. 77%. Max and Chloe were high school sweethearts. I wanted it for the drama. I kind of feel like Max and Chloe were just friends, but I felt like the story would be enhanced more with them being high school sweethearts. Pickup line. 42% used Safi's pickup line and succeeded. Oh, the other two failed. No. Good thing I chose the right one. There's no way people picked Reggie's pickup line. What? How is that? That must have been like their only option. That was terrible. Art pranks. Max flipped all the paintings in the snapping turtle. Max flipped some of the paintings in the snapping turtle. Max didn't flip any paintings. We got all of them. Nice. Mug of choice? I, oh, I'm in the minority. I chose the vodka mug. Most people chose this the nerdy and dirty mug. That's, to be fair, nerdy and dirty is very Max. Rooftop moment of reflection. Max reflected on the observatory rooftop. Max won the bottle cap game. Most people didn't let Safi keep her secret. Photo wall. 81% Max left her photo wall as it was. 19% Max added Arcadia Bay to her photo wall. Oh, I didn't do that. I could add Arcadia Bay. Oh, I, can I put the photo of Joyce up on there? I probably could have. I, that was in my pocket like the whole time we didn't use it. Coffee shop moment of reflection. 51% reflected at the coffee shop. 49% did not. Oh, that's the classic life is strange moment, dude. You gotta take those. Those feel so good. Moses hot chocolate. 14% Max brought Moses' hot chocolate? What kind of Moses haters are there? How'd you not bring him a hot chocolate? That's so sad. Only 14%? Safi's cause of death. Max told Yasmin there's no way Safi took her own life. 7% Max told Yasmin it's possible Safi took her own life. I don't think it's possible. Dude, 7%? That's the lowest choice by far. I was just kidding. There's a 1% over there. Max chose the pensive photo of Safi. Max chose the playful photo of Safi. Max chose the passionate photo. Most people chose passionate. Yeah, that one's a good one. Speak at Safi Memorial. 47% spoke at the memorial. 9% Max declined to speak. 44% Max didn't engage with the memorial. They just skipped it completely. So everyone who like engaged with it interacted and spoke. <laughs> the Braxis puzzle. Max solved the first layer of the puzzle box, which I did. Is it going to be reoccurring throughout? Max didn't solve the first layer of the puzzle box. Max didn't find the puzzle. So most people found it and solved it. Cool. Oh, we'll get a new outfit for the new chapter. Okay. Well, that was the end of chapter one. I hope you enjoyed. Life is strange. Double exposure. I think what the day was called. That's bad. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. It feels like a Life is Strange game so far. I do think the art and the character realism, realisticism is like a choice, but I enjoyed that. I think that was good. I'll need to play the rest of the remaining chapters, but for an introductory chapter, that felt good. I'll see you in chapter two, though.